good morning guys welcome to today's video today girls are still doing homeschool which is why our table is such a mess what are you building here sophie um a thing but it's not working it's a thing that's what it looks like yeah but they don't give us all enough of the, each colors so oh so was it working well so it's a space shuttle right I have these two working, so now I need to figure out how to make that one work. So you're building the circuit board for a space shuttle? Is that what you're building? I don't know. We're building something, though. <laughs> is that what it is, Gabby? No. Let's see. Just, it's called 30 Days Lost in Space. I'm currents or whatever. Anyway, they've been working really hard on it. It's been two days now, and it's like an ongoing thing. I love it. You can this change is, the light. You can change the... Oh my gosh, yours blinks. They all oh, they all you blink? Gotta, like, change the thing. So they're learning coding, essentially. So how we do it is they're both learning the same thing, but obviously Sophie's in grade 8 and Gabby's in grade 10. So Sophie gets more help with it, like Sam sits with them and explains it Wait, to her. Are you ready? Uh, you can't do it. Yeah, I couldn't I do it. I can't even figure this out. Yeah. And then Gabby pretty much does it on her own and then asks for help if she needs it. So you changed it to do it like that? <coughs> So Not you're you're writing smaller. codes. So are they writing codes? Yep, well, they're putting codes in after they build it. To make it do different things, blink faster and stuff. Yeah, that's cool. So they're building a space shuttle? They're building uh they're repairing something. And yeah, nobody understands. But they're repairing something and they're building it. Are you enjoying it, Gabby? Mm -hmm. Are you enjoying it, Sophie? Yeah, except for this burden thing won't work. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. I'm glad because I don't know if I would enjoy that. Also over here in the plant department, I'm just going to give all of them some water. Uh, they're all doing really well. These are the plants that we're growing. I'm excited. Usually planting season in Ontario is the May 24th weekend. So the third weekend in May. So basically like two to three more weeks and we should be able to plant these suckers, hopefully because some of them are getting huge and are ready to go into the ground. Okay, so we are dropping off some chickens today. Can we show them what's in there, Sophie? chickens i know but i want to show them so this lady wants two gray and she wants two black those are as close to black as we have so we're headed out now we're going to drop them off i'm excited come here ellie ellie had a bath this morning look look over here look ellie ellie look ellie look ellie ah uh, ellie had a bath this morning <laughs> she's like what do you want and she is busy scratching her ponies. I make sure that I don't put them too tight. They kind of look a little bit tight. But I do a test and I make sure and it's super loose, especially that one, which is why her hair falls out. I always put it so loose because I don't want it to pull on her, on her head. But anyway, in yesterday's video, I was telling you guys like she's always greasy. Not like from mud. Uh, I'm not talking about mud. I mean like she's always oily. Like you can even see it right now, right here while well, she's wet. So today I made the realization that maybe it's the shampoo that I'm using. I got special uh, dog shampoo. It's, sh it's shampoo and conditioner in one. Maybe that's what's making her so greasy. I hate when she's greasy. It, she lasts literally like four days before she looks so greasy and I have to bath her again. I try and keep it down to just once a week, just for her skin. And it's just for her peace of mind, today she was a lot better. Sam helped me and I used treats and positive reinforcement training, which I've been using the positive reinforcement, but that hasn't mattered to her, but the treats really do make a difference. So I did that today, it was a lot better, but any of you guys who have groomed dogs or are professional dog groomers, let me know in the comments. Like, is it a shampoo thing? I know, I know a lot of Yorkies do get greasy, I see a lot of pictures of them, but why is it like, why is she getting so greasy? Guys, this is awful. This is the most awful thing that's ever happened. A week of rain. It's been raining for a week. Today, like we are, we ran out of hay. I'll show you guys. Uh, just throw them all hay in here. So, Sam keeps extra hay in this stall. I'm just thinking, should we clean up this stall? I don't know. But anyway, Sam keeps extra hay in this hot, hay in this stall and it's lucky. Because we haven't been able to go get hay. We go twice a week to get hay. Um, we buy hay, but we store it at, we store it at the other place. Come on, Pen, there's hay. It's lunchtime, get out of the rain. 
Anyway, so we store it and then we just pick it up twice a week. But the problem is it's been really difficult to pick it up because of the rain. Like we don't want it to get wet on the way here. Everything is soaked. Actually, the arena is not too bad. Our arena is looking a mess though. Like there's just hay everywhere. Come on, honey. Oh, oh, here comes honey. She's just running. Like nobody wants to be in the barn. It's wet and dreary. I get, I'm so sensitive. Oh, did you put a pile for her? Come on. Look at how cute. <laughs> she didn't want to run in the mud. That was adorable. She jumped the mud. I wish I had got that. Oh, she's a little bit wet. Go find your hay pile, sweet baby. Oh my goodness, look it. Gracie's like, come on, I'll save you from that big bad boy. Oh my gosh, she is like, the worst, but Chino fights back now. Chino's done with that crap, which is what needed to happen. Oh my gosh, did you see that? <laughs> Go to the big pile, show her where it is. That was adorable though. Um, Chino kicks her now, but he's so tall compared to her that he kicks her and he gets like far up above her back. Like he doesn't even come in contact. He, he, he just kicks so high up. It's just annoying like life is on hold for the rain and that's what part of being a farmer is like life is on hold for weather oh, she's running behind you run Seriously. she's not she's too lessons got canceled my horse's face is dirty again my horse is dirty again gabby's horse is clean yeah, he's okay he's okay clean. And honey does not. Do you know what? Do you know what? Somebody asked me on in on Snapchat. People send me these questions, and somebody asked me like about Gabby selling Chino, and I'm like, you know what? No matter what happens, he'll always be a great trail horse, and she just loves him. And somebody else asked me, what do you love about, about Chino? And the truth is, I said that he's such a gentleman, but the truth is. I love him because of how much Gabby loves him. Like Gabby is such a genuine person. She's just a genuine person and she loves him and it just makes me love him. But anyway, there's lunch. There's lunch in the barn. And I love Gracie. I love that Gracie protects that baby. Like the baby's not even a baby anymore. And Gracie still thinks it's her baby and runs to protect her even when there's no like. And honey runs to me. Yeah, so which makes it like stressful about bringing another horse here, especially in the rain. This is what Sophia needs in her hair. No. We should try it. Don't. It's detangled. It's you should try it though, because it Don't. might not make your hair greasy because their hair doesn't get greasy from it. No. I'd like to try it. Don't waste it. That's all we have. I need to buy another bottle. We need to hit the tax store soon. It has been a week of rain, you guys. I've been feeling so frustrated today. It rained the entire day. Like, the last couple of days, it just rained, like, through the night, and then rained in the morning, and then rained a little bit at night, and we had, like, hours where it wasn't raining. Today's, like, day five or something, and it rained the whole entire day. Like, no, all of our horses are miserable. Our chickens are all miserable. All of our pets are miserable. Ellie wants to run, and I just gave her a bath today. Yeah, like, none of them can run. The chickens are just sitting all huddled up in the coop like it's just a disaster it's miserable and I'm like I quit like I can't do this anymore like I'm like ready to give up animals because I feel so bad for them and then my friend who's a vet told me today that she got called on a call and the owners of this horse had left her on a round bale and went away for the weekend and a neighbor called them called her and the horse had gone into the horse had gone into labor and it had died previously so it had a red bag so if a horse is a foal is being born and it has a red bag it means that it's dead inside so when she got there the horse's colic and because of the pain of the labor she couldn't get the foal out and she had rolled so much because she was alone that she dug herself into a hole and they couldn't get her out they had to put her down my friend um, delivered the foal and then they had to put the mare down and i just felt so bad it made me see like god is so good like you're feeling sorry for yourself and you think like the worst is going on and he shows you like really what is the worst like our horses 
and our animals are all healthy and they're all hanging in there and it's just like a week of rain but man I could never live someplace where it rains all the time I know this is a horse channel oh my gosh it's beautiful but I wanted to show you guys a couple of really special chickens or I wanted to show you one special chicken this is the rooster oh it is beautiful so all of our um younger hens these guys are like nine weeks maybe um they're starting to come into their colors and stuff but yeah he's a rooster and he's so cute so this is the one chicken that we raised actually this is one of two chickens that we bred that we're keeping and she lays pink eggs so what i wanted to show you guys was have you guys heard of that have you guys heard of that kind of chicken it's called emo chicken for short it has a longer name i can never remember the name and emo chicken is probably derogatory in some way and i'm sorry i don't mean it to be rude or mean or derogatory but it's a chicken that's completely black anyways we hatched all these chickens so we bought the eggs we don't know exactly what we were getting but we hatched these eggs and look what we got okay so anyway this is it it's all black its eyeballs are black its beak is black its claws are black its its skin is black you it has a little bit of other color on it but those goth chickens do get a little bit of other colors on it anyway they're starting to show up in in bar they're starting to show up in farms around us oh look at how nice she is i have found black chickens to be the nicest chickens she is white one. Chick. so she might be a cross it's very likely that she's a cross but look at her black eyes anyway i wanted to go show you guys that i'll show you a picture of them but like even her her comb is black anyway she's gonna be so cute so we're keeping her this one's really adorable too. I like her too. I love the like barred rock kind of colors. I don't know what she is, but she's stunning. She was the one that just popped up randomly. Anyway, the chicken that I rescued because I had Rhinex, she's completely normal, looks completely normal in with the other chickens. And the problem with her is that she forgets me now. She's she so has... in love with me and now she couldn't care less. This is Sophie's favorite. Wait. This is Sophie's favorite chicken, and he's a rooster. I don't care. And he's anything. so funny. <laughs> he's the sweetest little boy. Yeah, he's a boy, but look at him. He looks like Elvis. Uh oh, what is in your hair? Anyway, uh, we sold four chickens. We sold a bunch of chickens well, today. We have. Oh, look at the green. Yeah, I'm keeping him. No, we're not keeping him. Sophie says that every time we have a rooster that she likes. Don't you know that you?